hope I make you proud, Cool Fira. Cool Fira, you're the maddest rock star, like ever. The story of the universe is beyond ordinary human understanding. Our tiny planetary home is lost somewhere between the immensity and eternity of the galactic ocean. We require an avatar to make ourselves known throughout the universe. What I'm saying is, you're all inconsequential. Only I can lead humanity to a better tomorrow. Ah, is he done yet? Come with me as I take you to the uncharted reaches of the universe. Through me, we shall discover new worlds. Destiny awaits us. Well, that concludes my talk for today. Thank you, all three of you, for showing interest in the never-ending pursuit of knowledge. Your curiosity is appreciated. Oh, and thank you too, guy who stands by the door. I'm just the janitor, man. Well, even so. I shall see you later. Whatever. Ever since I left my academic career behind, I've been gazing out into the stars more frequently as of late. Here, back in my little town, there's hardly any kind of sound pollution. I could see the stars ever so clearly from my rooftop. All those years at the university, arguing with people of lesser intellects. I had almost forgotten about the true serenity I feel whenever I look up into the starry night. Perhaps, perhaps I should combine these two passions of mine, of space and melody. My hard work has finally proven to be fruitful. Today, as a member of NSR, my words have reached more people than I could have ever dreamt of. And yet, and yet I feel unfulfilled, empty. Deep down, I know that my achievements will fade away in just a few short generations. I do not care for fame. NSR is nothing more than a vehicle to spread my gospel. And the artists here, they lack vision. They lack ambition. But not me. <laughs> I've set my mind on my next endeavor. I've constructed a handful of drones to be launched into space. Each of them will automatically broadcast my symphony in a continuous loop. By doing so, I can have my music travel to the far reaches of the universe. Ever so clear, ever so pristine. Tatiana has entrusted me to supervise the NSR satellite that is set to launch in 30 days. All I need to do is attach the drones to the panels by then. Soon, my music will begin its unending voyage into space. Only then will I accomplish a feat that is worthy of humankind. And I, only I, shall claim the title of the Avatar of Earth.
build the profile. Now, block out the skull, then the features. It is not done yet. I hate you! How are you all doing? You may have noticed these collections of bottles in front of me. Well, there is a reason for that. Please tell them, Zook! Yeah, um, they're recycled materials so we can make art stuff. That is correct, Zook! <laughs> Let us start painting them. You are missing a spot. Oh. It is okay. <laughs> Now we tie each of them with a string. Like this? Yes, perfect! Next we hang them bit by bit. And it is done! Wow, that's beautiful. How about we take a photo together? Oh? Yes, yes, okay! Smile! heard from Zook for three weeks now. The last time I saw him was during our last performance. I was illuminating his hair with bright lights and he started yelling, no, 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 what are you doing? And then he ran away. Gone. Looks like I am left alone again. I should feel sad, but I have dreamt many times of this day to come. So, it did not hurt as much as I thought it would. It seems like whenever I try to open my doors to someone, I only create more complications. Is there no one out there who understands me? Am I truly alone in this world? No, I refuse to believe this. I have made my decision. I will bring the people of Vinyl City to my level. It is time I expand their minds and push their imaginations to greater heights. It is time I unmask them to new thoughts and concepts. This is the only way for me to find my like-minded brothers and sisters. There must be somebody out there who shares my vision. There must be. If there is none, I do not want to think of that possibility right 